Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Village. When we last left off, we explored the village. And we managed to get a few little treasures, which were nice. We also picked up the grenade launcher, which is quite a spicy meatball. Now, we need to move on. We were thinking about upgrading the rifle as well, but we didn't in the end. Because, I don't know, man. Um, it just doesn't seem to be like a huge waste. It doesn't seem to be a huge um, necessary upgrade, to be honest. And this is where I think I derped out. And I was like, wait a minute, where the bloody hell am I going? Possibly. Decided to go back there and check the place out. Or, you know, maybe not. This has been like over a week ago. <laughs> Yes, yes. Oh, that's right. We were seeing if we could actually get any more meals. Yeah, that finest fish. I've gotten some new stock. Fin I hate it when he says that. I've gotten some new stock. Are you you sure really you haven't. See, Resident Evil uh, 4 never did that. I've got some new items. Can't actually remember what he said. We're going to have to go through Resident Evil 4 again at some point. Some point soon, I think. I was going to redo it a while ago. But I kind of played like the first couple of hours of it and just kind of zoned out, you know? Just, ugh. I've played that game so many times. And um, that happened to me as well with Resident Evil uh, Remake, the original. When I was playing through that, we did the knife run, I think, uh, not that long ago. And I've still got to go back through and do Chris's bit with the extra bonus modes. But to be honest, at this moment in time, I've just I've played that game so many times. I think um, we, we will get back to it and we'll do some extra bonus modes with it, but it won't be a while. Yeah, look at all this green goop everywhere. It's pretty nasty. Just looks bad. You wouldn't want to drink the water around here, that's for sure. It's covered in a slimy substance. Yeah. Good thing our handy knife cuts that stuff away. here's me thinking that we could burst other parts of it. Maybe like some kind of um, chest or something, but no. No, sadly we can't. I appear to have got myself addicted to a new energy drink as well, called Rain. It's really good. Apparently it's like, you know, a healthy energy drink, which... Oh, look at how cool that looks. Which, let's be honest, is a big old load of steaming bollocks because there's no such thing. But we do have some nice juicy piggies through that door. And you know what that means? That means pork. And we like pork in these parts. Mmm. In fact, when I'm at work tomorrow for lunch, I might have a pork. A roast pork roll, yes. Had the roast beef roll last last week. Oh, so good. Right, you little porkers. Give me your bacon. Oh, that looks so painful. I feel bad for these pigs. Never a fan of killing animals, but... Needs must when the devil is driving. And the devil is driving hard. Mmm, nice. You know what I want now? I want a nice smoked smoked bacon sandwich. Mmm. Does sound really good. They they're surprisingly durable as well. To be honest. Uh 
Okay. So we still don't have the cog to get through those doors. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, that leads back out the way we came. That's cool. And there is one of the mazes. Hmm. I did like those mazes. One bad thing with the mazes, though, if I have to be critical, they weren't very difficult. And this is where I fucked myself here. I should have been using different save, uh, save slots. Always use different sla uh, slaves. <laughs> use different, yes, use different slaves per save game, guys. I like this, grinding the corn. Photo of a rare animal. Now there's the white pig. But um, that's up by uh, Louisa's farm. Or Louisa's house, I should say. But we, we got that ages ago. So let's go down into these depths. Now I can only assume what this place smells like. I'd imagine it's just like rotting fish and just sewage. Ugh. You know that horrible rotting fish smell? Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine it. it's like on your tongue as you go down there. <laughs> That's probably why Ethan was like, yeah, fuck this. Yeah, this is, yeah, I remember this, because uh, I thought there was another way to go. Turns out there isn't. Because that just leads back out the front. And I'm like, oh, I'm an idiot. Fool of a duck. Now, it's my birthday coming up. And family, friends, and people are asking me what I want. And currently I'm saying money because I really want a new graphics card because sadly this game has proved that uh, my 1060, well, she's really at her limits now, especially the end of this game. Oh boy, <laughs> 1060 was sweating. We were getting some really bad frame drops towards the end as the game heats up and my CPU was literally doing nothing it was on something like I think it was third uh, between 25 and 35 percent utilization and my graphics card was like a hundred percent maxed out so oh yeah I, I remember this I was trying to catch it between the frames it almost looks like Ethan has three hands the way that animation swaps. Now here we are in the dankness. The dank, dingy, dribbly dungeon. Now I really like this area. Hmm, not from the other side. Well, won't be going through there anytime soon. You can, uh, what's interesting about watching this back, I can taste this. I know what this place smells like. Oh, been around many a harbour if you catch my drift just that and I've been down a lot of mines as well those dank smelly like just uh, stale air you know Ugh. gotta get those gems yo look at all this Calcinite, kind of like, yeah, it just looks like calcified crust, barnacles, and uh, coral stuck to the side. It's got a green tinge to it, greeny yellow tinge, so it could be arsenic. Yeah, that wouldn't be out the ordinary for a mine, but uh, this is Resident Evil Universe we're talking about. So, you know, there's some weird funk.
The lighting in this game is fantastic as well. I really would love to have an RTX card just to see what the ray tracing is like. To, I've heard that it's not that good actually, the ray tracing. You said, um, I've seen a couple of tests where proper PC gamers um, that are used to RTX on and all that stuff say you can't really tell the difference. And unfortunately that's the same with a lot of ray tracing. You know, it's not great at the moment, but it's one of those things that will get better. You know, it's in its infancy at the moment. Oh, hello. My daughter senses a tingling. And there's the next guy, Monroe. This is an interesting character. This guy's got a bit of a complex. Oh, look at it. I'll just be taking this. What? 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 What are you doing with mother's special child? She's not hers. Oh, you have something to say? What do you mean, mother's special child? Mother wants her baby back. Don't screw with me. Wait, 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 please, please. If you take it, then the others will laugh at me. But if I, I do better than them... What do I care? Wait, just a little longer, please. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> You're stupid. You talk too much. <laughs> It's all over. I plugged the way in. What are you? This is my territory. And I won't let you leave. Shit. <laughs> yeah, this is like a very Damn freak. fucked up Aquaman. I I actually like these enemies. They're really interesting. <laughs> Dirty little sneak thief. Yeah, well, good luck with that, pal. But technically, Ethan's just taking back what's his. I mean, it was never Miranda's to take in the first place, you dick. I mean, what the hell is this guy? He looks like a prolapsed anus, for fuck's sake. I don't think Ethan's going to be worried about him. But, as an enemy, he's actually really interesting. They all are, actually. I really enjoyed these enemies. Uh, best... How do I get out of here? Best bunch of Resident Evil characters since... Um, yeah, four, maybe. I mean, Resident Evil 5 had some very forgettable characters. You know, apart from uh, Chris, Sheva, and um, Wesker. I mean, who was Wesker's um, girl? Oh, Jill was in 5 as well, obviously. But, I mean, you know, how could you forget Jill? <laughs> but... Wesker's side bitch, whatever she was called, she was just an awful character. Um, and then you had the weird, wise, cracking dude that infects himself on the boat and turns into a giant fish thing. Can't even remember his name. That's how, you know, that's how much these characters have stuck with me. He was awful as well. <clears throat> So let's see what they got. Oh, look at how fucking gorgeous this is! And I'm jealous of Jimmy because he's playing this uh, on a 4K monitor, whereas I'm still stuck at 1080p. But even at 1080p, it's gorgeous. You know. Anyway, let's have a good little search of this area. Definitely want some bullets. You can never have too many bullets. The handgun in this game is a is a workhorse. You know, it's not like ah, some force could break it. There we go. Yeah, it's not like um, 
Alone in the Dark, for instance, where the handgun is pathetic, absolutely pathetic. It's it's literally a pointless weapon, and uh, even the shotgun in Alone in the Dark, in Alone in the Dark, feels like a pointless weapon, absolutely pointless. I'm talking about the new Nightmare, by the way. Um, a game that I haven't played in like three weeks, and I haven't finished yet. A game that I, for the record, really enjoy. It's a great game. It's just the weapons are a little bit, eh. Anyway, I think the health and safety guy would have a field day with this place. I mean, look at it. Absolutely falling apart. You've got dead fish everywhere. And that's before we even get into the locals. Now, I'm not sure how much these guys are paid to work these mines, but I'm guessing they're being thoroughly taken advantage of. But that's okay. That's why we're here. Ooh. You know, that's a really satisfying head pop. Resident... Ooh, look at how ugly this guy is. And that's one thing I will say. Resident Evil is still the master of the head pop. No game does it like... Even, you know, you, even if you go back to, like, Resident Evil 1, the OG trilogy... There's something about those crunchy, wet, thuddy um, head pops that are just amazing. And they've really carried them over to this. Right, well, armoured guy. Let's get rid of that armour. Good old pipe bomb. Now this shotgun is really nice as well. It is slow. But it feels pretty damn potent. If you could upgrade the cycle rate on this thing, it would be quite nice. Right, let's nab up that boat key. We're good. Ooh. Looks like we've angered the locals. Coming out of the woodwork here. Literally. Ooh, there's a few of them. But that's okay. Ooh. We like locals, because they drop money. Oh, nice. See what I mean? How satisfying is that? That critical hit splodge is just lush. Yes. Oh, it's just, you know, that will never not be satisfying. Especially when you play other survival horror games, you know. Of um, uh, like for like times, like for instance. Uh, okay, let's go back to say Silent Hill and uh, Alone in the Dark, for instance. Right, great games, sure. Uh, I don't think anybody can deny that. But Resident Evil really had the combat. There's something about Resident Evil's combat. It just felt better. It's, I think the animations are better. The sound effects are better. You know? The characters' stances are better. Um, could that be personal opinion? Sure. Yeah, it could be. But, you know, going back to uh, the original Silent Hills, for instance, uh, and especially Lone in the Dark... And uh, other, uh, oh, yeah, I guess we could throw the ring into the mix, but the ring wasn't really a, a game, was it? It was just somebody shit um, into a machine that printed a disc, and that was that was the ring, probably called the ring because it came from the ring. It has nothing to do with the film. Um, but yeah, the Resident Evil just had something to it. And they always had legendary audio as well. Now, the pre-rendered backgrounds in the original Resident Evils was superb as well. Absolutely superb. And I will say, that's one thing with the new Nightmare, Alone in the Dark. The pre-rendered backgrounds in that game are, even now, stunning. They're so detailed. I was convinced there would be fish in this pool, in this water. I was like, man, this is going to be where the legendary fish is. I, I can smell it. 
but no. But yeah, oh my. Alone in the Dark, the new nightmare. And I will say another thing about that game. Uh, Alone in the Dark, the story. Yeah, I'm noticing here. Why are the colours of the lights around the edge of the screen going red? I thought, first thing I thought, uh oh, graphics card on the fritz. <laughs> and then I'm going to have to take out a mortgage to buy a new graphics card. Um, and I thought, nope, because it's consistent with every light. Must be a strange effect. And then later on the penny drops. Ah, it's because I'm injured. But yeah, uh, Alone in the Dark and New Nightmare took um, a very different take on the story. Um, yeah, they really went other otherworldly and alien with it. Although, not really alien, but otherworldly for sure. And it really worked. I really enjoyed the story. Again, I haven't finished Alone in the Dark. I've done one playthrough as one character. And I've just started again as Carnby. Holy shit, I can't remember what I was doing in that game. Yeah, it has been best part of a month before I've <laughs> since I've recorded that. More locals. Now I've seen a couple of people as well saying that they prefer Resident Evil 7 to Resident Evil 8 Village and that's fine. You're welcome to your own opinion. Absolutely you are. That's what makes debate interesting. But uh, how? <laughs> like, 8 is 7 times 10. Now, I will say one thing with Seven. The Bakers were really cool. Uh, they were really well acted and really well written, I think. Ah, yes, the chest floating mysteriously amongst the rubbish and the cat turds. But it doesn't appear we can get to that yet. Yeah, but everything else in Seven was... Ugh, not that great. And everybody says that Seven was scarier than Eight. Now... Ah, I'm not a good judge of whether something's scary because I just I don't find the game scary at all. But I didn't really find seven scary at all. Uh, the mold monsters after a while were just boring. You know, I've the enemies in this game are so much better. Are they scary in this game? Well, no. But that again, that's just my opinion. You know, someone else might find the game scary, and, and you know, that's fair enough. My missus, for instance, was terrified of this game. Absolutely terrified of it. And, you know, hey, cool. I always think that... I think I'm missing something from not being terrified. Yeah, I was sure we could sail around here somewhere and get to that. Yeah, uh, I, I do think I'm missing a layer of the atmosphere, because I'm just not scared of these games having that little bit of dread and adrenaline you know in the back of your mind probably does add a lot to the experience you know ooh this is looking gribbly Hmm. It's your boy, Monroe. This bit here really reminded me of Resident Evil 4 when you first get to the lake and you've got that big open lake and you've got the clear objective in front of you. But just off to the side was a little cave and in that cave was a little merchant hut. You remember that? That was so cool and I, I could feel that here. <clears throat> Now this is one mistake that my missus made. She went straight into that hut. If you go into that hut, you cannot sneak up through here. And I saw this bit here and I was like, oh. There's obviously a little something tucked away up here somewhere. 
And look at that. God rays coming down. What could possibly be here? We've got some catfish. And I saw the catfish and I was like, whoa. That's got to be the legendary fish. We haven't seen catfish before. But no. <laughs> They're just normal fish. But you do get two meat. But if you don't come up here first, if you go into the hut, you can't come up here then. And you miss these fish forever. Which is a shame. There's a couple of locations in this game. Uh, all the boss locations, obviously. But there are a couple of little areas that you do get cock blocked. That if you miss them out, even if you don't know they're there, you do miss them. Which is a shame. But, you know, replay value and all that. Now I can definitely see coming back through this game a second time uh, it's going to be monumentally faster than going through it the first time. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Once you know roughly what you're looking for and what the puzzles are. Not that there were many puzzles in this game. Um, again, uh, a shame. You know, Resident Evil puzzles I can take or leave them. Um, you know, they're okay. They were nice back in the original games, but I don't feel like I'm missing that much from not having loads of puzzles. They're nice when they're there, but, you know. Hmm, sus. What's in here? What the hell? Reason. Research post or something? What the fuck are they doing here? <laughs> Get off of me! Stay the fuck down! Ethan! I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. It'd be a shame if something happened to you now. Sure, Chris. Why not? You killed Mia. Now do me and finish the job! Hey, Cap. I'm getting some serious motion readings out here. We should move on. What kind of readings? What's moving? Unknown, but my guess is we've been here too long and Miranda knows it. Hey, hey, did you say Miranda? How are you involved? Leave it alone, Ethan. You are out of your depth. What about the sample analysis? It's definitely related to the mold. You stay out of our business, Ethan. What this God will do? Hmm. Getting the feeling Chris can't be as bad as we think he is. After all, he just saved us. Hello. Oh my god. It's underwater. You're done. I don't have time for this. Wait. Miranda is already preparing himself. Miranda sent you to slow me down? You're pathetic. Well, he looks like he's uh, mutating at quite a rate. Notice those weird tentacles coming out of him as well. Very similar to what was coming out of Donna's doll. Hmm. Interesting. But he really does look like an inflamed asshole. Or at least an infected nutsack. Yeah, not pretty.
And he's, well, he's made a bit of a mess. Kind of balls up our exit. Thanks, pal. God. What a dick. Yeah, frame rate here wasn't good. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Um, Moreau's Clinic. So if we look at this, Moreau's Clinic. Hmm. Was he a sign, sign matician? A man of science before everything went to shit? Hmm. Maybe. Look at the fucking state of this place. Rose Clinic. Notice how there's garlic everywhere. I don't really know why there's garlic everywhere. Vampires. Right. But no. He said the exit's underwater. Not buying that. And something's making a hell of a lot of noise in there. Reservoir Gatehouse Operations Instructions. In an instance of heavy rain, there may be damage to the local aquatic life. It is advised that you drain all excess water using the following steps. 1. Move the windmills or the crank to start the electricity to the gatehouse. 2. Pull the lever in the gatehouse to open the sluice gates. Oh. Well, I guess that's something. I guess we can have a good old tug if I can on this. Water. <sighs> Shit, there's no nope. power. Of course there's no power. Why would there be? Who the hell is making all that damn noise? Oh, we recognize that symbol. The Duke's fallen asleep. Hey, right, buddy. He's out if of it. It's just window shop away. Thanks, buddy. Right, can we make anything? Hmm. Technically, we could make that, but we don't want to. I've gotten some new stock. Now, we've got a nice lot of stuff to sell here. Well, actually, not as much as we... I don't know, we've got a few bits. Make 16k. We'll take it. Absolutely take it. We still got the necklace with two holes. Need to find something to stuff into those holes. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons, Yes. we'll do them for a small fee. Pretty sure I was thinking here this might be the time to get the upgrade to the rifle. For the F two. Just because it looks like we're going to have some long distance fun. Especially with how open this map is. So indecisive. It's like, yeah, go on. Go on. We'll get it. I mean, my thought process was it only raises the value of the weapon. Good day, then. So if we sell it later, it doesn't matter. And it really does cut down on weapon sway. Not that that was much of a problem anyway. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much. And as always, till next time.